Well, the, the uh, expression is a deal eight and a dollar short, right? Hey Booktube, it's Kim at middle of the book march and my late midweek video is here. I know you're all holding your breath. And I decided to do a quick tag today. I may be the only booktuber who hasn't done this yet. And I've watched several others' videos and I thought it was really fun. So I decided to jump in, even though I wasn't tagged by anybody. So there. I, and honestly, that's what tags are for. If you feel like doing a tag, do a tag. You don't have to wait to be tagged. And it, it can be fun sometimes to tag people and be tagged, but if you feel like doing it, do it. So that's what I decided to do today. This is the Hot or Not book tag, and this was created by Greg at Another Bibliophile Reads, and I will uh, link his video in the description box down below. Now, he has very clear instructions. They are, try to be fast and on topic, and I'm looking this way at my computer. There can always be exceptions and it depends explanations, but go for the gut reaction to the prompt in general terms. Pick either hot or not. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll have a couple of exceptions. Number, okay, and it goes from A to Z. A, audiobooks, hot. But <laughs> I, I sample more audiobooks than I ever listen to because I get I get frustrated with audiobooks very quickly. So, but they are hot because they are, there are so many offerings out there. B, buildings Roman or dealing with a person's formative years or spiritual education. Um, I'm warm on that one, even though I read, I quite possibly accidentally read a ton of books with those themes. Um, more, more on the hot side. C, children's books, not, not for me anymore. I have a granddaughter, I'm reading board books these days. Um, but children's books are fine, not for me, not. D, digital, hot. I do read digitally. It's not the, my first go-to, but it's definitely hot, and there's some great bargains out there. E, experimental, not, not really. I mean, I think I've read a couple of exceptions, but not. F, fantasy, white hot, blazing hot. I'm going to be rereading re The Hobbit soon. G, graphic novel, hot. Some are great, some are not great, some are really good, some are bad, but yes, they're hot. H, horror, not. No, 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 not at all. Not. Ice cold. It is probably the, one of the only genres I don't read. I read some when I was in, you know, high school and I was traumatized. I, inspirational, not not it's usually very trite j journalism hot absolutely journalistic or narrative nonfiction is white hot k kitsch has a popular or sentimental appeal not once in a while i'll pick up a, a cute cozy kitschy book but not often and not from not for me k, uh, l library again blazing hot yes patronize, 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 patronize. Be a patron of your local library. They are white hot. There's so many resources. Uh, my very small town library has a wonderful fiction buyer, so they always have some of the best new releases. Go to your library, white hot, and you can get um, download uh, eBooks for free. Um, M, mystery, hot, white hot. I am I have a series or two that I'm waiting to get back into, finishing the books I'm currently reading. Yes, hot. And in nonfiction, hot. Even though I talked about my struggles with nonfiction in my last video, yes, it's hot because there have been such, so many books, so many nonfiction books that are just spectacular. So yes, it is hot. Oh, omnibus, not. No, I hate bind ups. I have a few that are kind of like just purely for collection, but no, I not not at all. Um, I don't like them. P poetry, not for me. I don't understand poetry. I've read a couple of poetry collections that I've enjoyed, and 
I have like four or five on my shelf, which is a almost a 0.01 percentage of the books on my shelf. It's not for me. Q, quests, when the protagonist goes on a quest, either physical or spiritual. Hot, but this is weird. When I read a book, when I read quest books or watch movies with quests in them, even like The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, um, even Harry Potter or stuff like that, a lot of it is fantasy related. I get, I get anxiety from that because I, I am, a, I am a homebody by nature. I love to be at home. And watching or reading somebody go on a quest far from home for however long it takes pr provokes such anxiety in me. So sometimes it's difficult. And the, only because I know the ending to The Hobbit am I probably gonna jump into that one and truly enjoy it. Yeah, um, let's see. R for romance. It is hot. I don't always reach for romance. Um, yeah, but yes, not always, it's warm for me, but I have, I have gotten some great, you know, had some re great reading experiences with contemporary romance, especially, and I used to read a lot more romance when I was younger, but the ones that I've reached for lately, I've enjoyed, and, uh, it's just a great break in a string of either sad or depressing or traumatic novels or nonfiction. So yeah, S, science fiction. Hot, but I don't read a lot of it. I've read some and I've enjoyed it, um, but I do have some other books that are considered science fiction that I'm really looking forward to getting to. T for translation, books that were translated from one language to another, hot, absolutely. I love translated fiction. I don't think I've read any translated nonfiction. You, Ubermensch, the Superman or the Extraordinary Human, characters who can do everything, not. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't, that doesn't appeal to me at all. Eh. V, Victorian, literature from 1837 to 1901. White, blazing hot for me. George Eliot is my favorite. Middlemarch, any of George Eliot's novels, um, Dickens, any of the Victorians, yes, white hot. W, Western, hot. One of my favorite books of all time is Lonesome Dove, and one of my favorite authors is Larry McMurtry. And there are other books that wouldn't necessarily fall into the the Western genre, like a Lonesome Dove or like a Zane Grey series or that type of thing, but they're set in the West. Willa Cather is the perfect example. Um, much, Many of her novels are set in the West or the Southwest and they're just beautiful. So yes, that's hot. X, X-rated, not, absolutely not. Not, you know, it's not a moral issue. It's just, ugh, nah, I've not really read anything x-rated that is of any quality and i did read 50 shades of gray years ago and i thought it was the stupidest thing ever sorry if i've offended anybody but for me it was really stupid why young adult not for me it is hot for plenty of young adults who read the genre but there have been some exceptions that are that i've read i don't read very much of it so that's a not for me and Z, Zeitgeist, Spirit or Mood of the Times, not. Only because, it, to me, it feels like it becomes dated very quickly. And I think that's a, a danger of writing something in, about current media events or current events. If I read one more, you know, one more pandemic book or one more book with a pandemic theme in it, I'm, I'm probably going to scream because it's, it just becomes trite. Did I use that word already in this video? So yeah, that's how I feel about the hot or not book tag. Um, again, I could have gone on at length, at length for different exceptions and we're all gonna have them. And it's funny because at different times of my life, these answers would have been wildly different. You know, there would have been a time when romance would have been super hot. Uh, there would have been a time when horror would have been hot. There would have been many years when journalism would have been not hot at all, would have been ice cold. And 
I I didn't start reading audiobooks um, in earnest until I got onto BookTube. So, you know, for years before then, it would have been an absolute not for me. So yeah, everybody everybody changes and evolves, and uh, your tastes change and your habits change. So really interesting. It would be really interesting to go in go forward in the future and do this tag in another five years to see if my answers are completely different. So that's it, the end of the tag. Um, and let me know what you think of any of my answers. If any of them, any of yours are different from mine. And I'm not going to tag anybody because everybody's already done this. Uh, so thanks to Greg from another Biblio Bibliophile Reads. It was a good one. And I will see everybody in the next video. Bye.